In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new project and how simple it is to add widgets to a screen or image assets to your project. Having started the program, the launcher screen will appear. You can create a new project by clicking on Create in the top menu. Here you can select to create a simulator. Projects for development boards are coming soon. By selecting the simulator, some information will appear on the right. You can find the description of the board or simulator at the board description field. You can write a description for the project in the project description field. In the project setting field, you can give your project a name, set its location, resolution, color depth, and default theme. You can choose from three different themes, light, dark, and simplified. Having set everything, your new project will be created by clicking on the Create button. The first screen will be added automatically to your project. In our previous video, you got to know Screen View and Panels. Now I'm going to show you the Widget and Assets panels. Click on the Button widget on the Widget panel. A default button will appear on the screen. On the Inspection panel, you can see the parameters of the widget. Here you can change its name, size, and position. By default, every widget is center aligned. You can change this in the Align section. Let's change the center alignment to bottom mid. In this case, the position values are calculated from the center of the bottom of the parent. For example, if X and Y values are zero, then the widget will be exactly at the bottom center of the screen. You can set the position of the widget in two ways in pixels or in percent, which is relative to the size of the parent object. In this case, the screen is the parent, so if we define a percent value, it will be calculated from the size of the screen. If we put the button under another widget in hierarchy, it would be calculated from the size of that widget. Now set Y position to percent, using the arrow next to the PX unit. Then choose percent. Let's set it to minus 10%. There are three ways to specify the size of the widget, either in pixels, or as a percentage, or to take the size of the content as a basis. Set the width value to 50%. Now add a label widget to the screen by dragging the widget exactly to the button in the hierarchy list. You can see that the label has been placed under the button in the hierarchy. The align value is set to center by default, so the text will appear in the middle of the button. Since the label is inside the button, if you move the button, the label will move with it. You can enter the text of the label at the text parameter field. Font parameters can be changed in style settings, main, text section. A theme is applied by default, in which the default style parameters are defined. These can be overwritten after turning on the checkbox before the parameter you want to change. Click on the text font checkbox. From the drop-down menu, select the font named Montserrat 20. Then select the Assets panel. In the Assets panel, we can see the images used for the project. There are two ways to add files to your assets. Either press the Add File into Assets button to select a file on your computer, or simply copy the image to the Assets folder. In this case, the copied files will be shown automatically in the Assets panel. The program can handle PNG files up to 2028 by 2028 pixels. Click on the Add File to Assets button and select the img underscore pos dot png image from the Squareline Studios examples slash pos slash assets folder. Simply drag the added image to the screen and it will appear in the center of the screen. Set the Y position to minus 50 pixels. Now we have three nicely arranged widgets. Next time, I'm going to show you the styles and how to use them. Thanks for watching this video.